Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some juicy political drama revealed in Meredith McGraw's new book, Trump in Exile. So let's get right into it. According to McGraw, Donald Trump has been privately mocking Carrie Lake, the former news anchor who's all in on his election fraud claims. Now, despite publicly endorsing her for the Arizona Senate seat, Trump finds Lake's unwavering commitment to his narrative quite amusing. Yeah, you heard that right. In his private conversations, Trump would laugh at Lake's dedication, joking about how she managed to bring everything back to the 2020 election fraud. But here's the kicker. Even while mocking her, he told other Republicans to follow her lead. Why? Because her stance, no matter how extreme, resonated well with his base. It's like endorsing someone with one hand and making fun of them with the other. Now let's rewind a bit and talk about Carrie Lake's rise in the Republican Party. She jumped into the political scene by echoing Trump's claims of a stolen 2020 election, and it worked. She ran for governor of Arizona in 2022, lost to Katie Hobbs, but refused to concede. This refusal further solidified her image as a staunch election denier and earned her Trump's endorsement for the Senate race. What's fascinating is Trump's strategic use of ridicule as a political weapon. The book sheds light on how he used similar tactics against Ron DeSantis. Remember that viral ad mocking DeSantis for allegedly eating pudding with his fingers? Yep, that was Trump's team at work, using ridicule to undermine a rival. Why does Trump do this? It's about maintaining control over the Republican narrative and keeping his base engaged. By mocking Lake and others, he manages to keep them in line while also entertaining his supporters. It's a calculated move that highlights Trump's unconventional approach to politics. So, what does this tell us? Trump's influence over the Republican Party is still strong, and his tactics, no matter how unorthodox, are effective. Kari Lake's rise in Trump's manipulation of her image is a clear example of how deeply intertwined their political strategies are. As the 2024 election approaches, it'll be interesting to see how these dynamics play out. Will Lake's unwavering loyalty to Trump pay off, or will Trump's mockery backfire? Only time will tell. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more updates on the latest political happenings. Stay tuned. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.